importantly, being inquisitive and wanting to solve problems and being able to reach into a constantly expanding tool bag. I don't think you can point to any one particular technology and say that this is what a certain writer needs. My background is in, I guess, trying to make the most out of very little. I think a sense of humor is paramount. <laughs> Anything that can go wrong will go wrong, especially when you're miles from anywhere. Uh, you know, that's shrouded in mystery. Uh, it was a collaboration between myself, uh, Bob Loeb, who was the president of TCM, and Scott Foote, who was the uh, uh, vice president for sales, as I recall. Um, and I'm not sure which one of us came up with it, but uh, it just seemed to be the right combination of words. It had been dubbed by W. Alton Jones uh, to um, sort of recreate uh, the, the image of a, somebody that went out and uh, provided a service. Uh, it was also, uh, in my mind, it, it was really related to some of the early missionaries who were out evangelizing a new way. And so I look at circuit riders as, as a, you know, both uh, servicing groups but also evangelizing this, this new technology, showing people, you know, a Palm Pilot and saying, you know, have you seen this? Showing the internet, showing a database-backed website or an action site where, where folks can take actions on behalf of the group's organizations or make a donation. That's the type of thing that a circuit rider does is it opens uh, people's minds to new possibilities of how technology can support their work. The foundation decided to step in and bring in new resources and hopefully some new thinking that would allow experiments to play out about how the internet and the, uh, a variety of, of other uses of electronic communication could be brought to bear to achieve the programmatic goals. Yeah, our experience with uh, circuit riding has been enormously rewarding. Uh, I'm convinced that the vision that we had early on that this was going to be an important investment has borne true emphatically true. And I hope that other foundations realize that building the capacity within the community of grantees that they serve to make the very most effective use of technology is one of their obligations as a, a grantor. I think circuit riders have demonstrated that it's one of the most cost-effective ways to strategically intervene uh, and help organizations in the 21st century. I've been involved in the technology and nonprofit field for about 15 years now. Um, and the perception of technology and its application has changed. Uh, it's becoming realer. Uh, I don't think foundations can ignore it anymore. Remember, a lot of foundations play in the, in the world of investments and the stock market. And they can't ignore the fact that technology is changing that world. Um, it is also changing the world of the nonprofit. Um, in efficiencies, in access to information, in access to public, in membership development. Um, I think we have turned the corner and foundations now see this as a viable tool, uh, a useful adjunct, and not something that's just out there and a little bit special, but something basic to the programmatic um, funding. came up with an idea called the Circuit Rider. The first one was with W. Walton Jones, a uh, fellow named Jeremy Parati, was our actual writer. He went out into the field with all the support and technology that TCN had to provide, but his job was to work with a variety of, of various organizations and to tech them up. Now, this was early in the days of the internet, too, so we had uh, um, a long way to go with some of those organizations. We had to get them on email. Sometimes they didn't even have that. Someone who uh, visits and works with multiple organizations, whether it's a service-specific or funder-specific or a geographically-specific group of, of organizations, and provides consulting and guidance to those groups, specifically with their technology needs. But the best thing about being a circuit rider is people are always glad to see you. They're always sorry you can't stay longer, and they always want you to come back. It's the best job there is. Circuit writing is more of a term that is used in the nonprofit community to describe somebody who does the consulting work. 
I think that it has a little bit less formality to it, and so you can be a circuit writer, or I think people are more comfortable with that title than they are necessarily as consultants, especially if they're new to this kind of work. Um, and it also conveys a certain uh, attitude about just the way that you approach it that is uh, both enjoyable and fun, and the seriousness with which you take the missions of the groups that you work with, whereas a consultant could be somebody who's just out for their own organization or their own business, whereas a circuit writer is somebody who's really adopting the missions of the groups that they work with. I found it myself at the first circuit writer roundup, and I'm going, hmm, I've been a circuit writer all along, haven't I? I just hadn't put a name to it. Um, and uh, um, so a, uh, a professional is born, and that's what we really ought to think about ourselves, is as, as professionals um, and colleagues to each other. I'm glad I found you all. We see the Circuit Rider Roundup as a, a key tool for circuit riders across the country to use as, to uh, meet, the, meet the people who do what they do. Circuit riders are so geographically isolated, they may not have anybody in their city who does the same kind of thing they do, so it allows us to develop um, a community of people, a personal network of people we can brainstorm with and troubleshoot with, and a time to get together and learn from each other, um, brainstorm, regenerate our own energy and enthusiasm about what we do, and then it provides some great time for us to figure out how we want to grow the community and how we want to grow collaboration within the community and, and make circuit riding what it could be. This year we're excited about the Roundup because it's an opportunity for us to collaborate with the Grant Makers for Organizational Effectiveness and the Grant Makers Evaluation Network. The sets of grant makers across the country who work with and deal with the same issues that circuit riders deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's an opportunity for, for policy makers in a sense to get together with folks who are on the ground working with nonprofits and that kind of um, uh, interaction I think enriches everybody's work and understanding of, of what's going on and what needs to happen for nonprofits and technology. Writer Roundup is just something that on both a professional and personal level is that I just, it's a great, I look forward to it every year. I'm always sad when it ends. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's a really good, great experience. The Day of Service is a great idea uh, that uh, came about at the last Roundup by one of the, by one of the riders, Trey Beck who said, hey, you know, we're all getting together and we're, we're sharing knowledge with each other. Why don't we take it out and, uh, and really affect the community where we're, where we're meeting? Let's, let's show up a day early and let's you know, serve uh, the folks in that community. And so here we are in, in Kansas City and we'll be uh, helping and serving 60 organizations uh, with technology assessments, with, with other critical uh, aspects of, of organizational effectiveness. And only the riders can do it uh, in Kansas City really won't be the same. I think we're primarily interested in the Roundup and the Day of Technology because um, we're, we're also looking at other avenues in which the Kauffman Foundation can get more involved in technology and helping our grantees get more involved in, in the field of technology. Of course, that's the direction that we're taking, so we're going to help them build their capacity around technology then. I think the Roundup is a great way to start that way to build that relationship with our grantees. Uh, this is our beautiful matrix where we've, we've um, scientifically picked out colors to identify um, things. So um, this side is our who's, who, which organizations need um, assessment, and that side is what organizations need training. We've then divided up um, the riders to match both uh, the criteria for matching these folks up with this expertise in some relation to the organizations that they're going to be going to, uh, but then also matching writers uh, with um, lesser experience or less experience in the writer field with um, folks that have a little bit more of experience to set up learning experiences and stuff like that. And the other thing, of course, that's going on tomorrow is we have three on three trainings tomorrow. Uh, oh, that's right. That are taking place. One, uh, effective use of the internet, writing a technology plan and the e-base are all taking place. So great nonprofit database. The great database. nonprofit database. It's free. That's free. But everybody's gonna get the same packet of stuff. And but there are people that are gonna go out as you look on the board, there are some people that are only doing training and some people that are only doing assessments. Okay. But we've got four hours on site and so if 
you finish doing something, you might be able to use the materials. And we also thought it would be valuable just to give everybody the tools just so they can look at them, use them as they wish. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. Thank you all, first of all, for coming. Thank you for coming here a day early. For those of you who are just here for the Circuit Rider Conference and taking your time out for volunteering today. It means a lot to the local community, and hopefully we'll be able to, uh, to have a fun day. Um, for those of you who haven't met me, um, my name is Frank Wardway. I work with an organization in Seattle called Empower, which is a regional nonprofit assistance organization that does technology planning and projects for nonprofits in the Seattle metro area. Um, now, some of you today are going to be training, providing tips and tricks, and just giving some folks uh, some guidance on their machines. And then some of you are going to be doing some technology assessment work. Uh, doing inventories, sitting down with the organization, getting to know what their mission is, and then giving them some advice about how they might be able to move forward uh, with uh, technology and, and how it supports their mission. <laughs> Good morning. My name is James Seeson with the Local Initiative Support Corporation. Um, I'm one of 41 field offices across the country. And um, I didn't know what I did was actually called circuit writing. <laughs> 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 so now I have a new job description to take to my boss and tell him this is what I actually do. Uh, what I ask for a raise at the same time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We've been designing a technology plan. This was kind of like a godsend. <laughs> it just happened to fall on our lap right at the lap, right at the right moment. Uh, we've been doing this, and we were working on it anyway. Uh, but having the chance to have them come in and critique it made it was really is really helpful. Or you can choose to just come to the website when you're ready to look at, let's say you have a specific question you want to see if the list has an answer. You can go into the list, maybe do a search on, on a particular topic. Put down, why are we doing this? We are getting these new computers, we are putting in this network, we are you know, getting an internet connection and developing a website to do XYZ for these strategic reasons. We have an administrative overload because we get 100 calls a day about our, um, you know, the work program that's in Iran or whatever it is. And maybe if we had a website where people could put their comments up there, maybe we could cut that, you know, we could cut those calls in half or by a third or whatever it is. That's the strategic plan. We are hoping to reduce the amount of administrative overload by having a website that does X, Y, and Z. That complements the rest of the way that we One of the things, we actually had one of the students teach part of the presentation <laughs> after I, I, I showed her how to do something. So she got up in front of her boss and other people uh, to um, show them how to write a signature file on their emails that they could send out to everybody. We had a great experience. Um, it was. Uh, very beneficial, the two of us working together. We're both sort of used to working individually, and that was nice. Uh, we just met each other, we're kind of wondering how it would go. We complimented each other wonderfully, that was great. Rob Stewart at the Rockefeller Technology Project played a vital role in inspiring people to invest and to think about what this could do for all of us. And I think that the, if there is a history of circuit riding written, uh, Rob will be on the large white horse with the silver around the saddle. <laughs>